Can you solve this math problem in your head without the use of a calculator? Well, let me show you how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is simplify this because at face value, six to the power of 12 divided by 12 to the power of six is going to be too much for you to calculate in your head without simplification. So the first exponent law that I'm going to use here is the one that allows me to distribute an exponent into the factors of the base. And this means that a times b to the power of x is the same as a to the power of x times b to the power of x. And what that allows me to do is actually break up this denominator into the factors of 12, 2, and 6. And I can raise both of them individually to the power of 6. Now you'll notice that I have a base 6 on the top and a base 6 on the bottom. And that's going to allow me to divide out the exponents. Now remember, if I'm dividing something that has the same base, I just need to subtract the exponents. So this is going to be 6 to the power of 12 divided by 6 to the power of 6, which is going to be 6 to the power of 12 minus 6. And that's going to leave me with 6 sixes on the top. And so I've now simplified to 6 to the power of 6 divided by 2 to the power of 6. Now I'm actually going to do the original distribution law again, except this time I'm going to do it to the 6. And as you can probably tell, I'm going to break it up into the factors 2 and 3, both individually raised to the power of 6. Now you'll notice there's a 2 to the power of 6 in the top and the bottom, allowing me to cancel them out. And now all I have is 3 to the power of 6. Now maybe you're wondering, wait a minute, I can't do 3 to the power of 6 in my head. Sure you can. 3 times 3 is 9 times three is 27, times three is 81, times three is 243, times three is 729. Were you able to solve this one in your head? Let me know in the comments.